Today, I'm going to show you how to set up your TP-Link router. And before starting, if this video helps, please support me. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below. So, first thing you need to do is turn on the router. Take the power adapter. Plug one end into an outlet. and the other into the router. When the router is powered on, the light will turn on. It may take a few minutes for it to completely turn on. Next, connect the cable from your broadband provider or from your modem to a special internet port. This port usually has a different color and labeled as WAN. Each cable should be inserted until it clicks. Now you need to reset the router to the factory settings. Press and hold the reset button on the router for 10 seconds. Until the indicator lights on the router begin to flash. Sometimes this button is located inside the router casing to avoid accidental pressing. In this case, use a thin object to press on it. The router will reboot and the settings will return to the factory defaults. Insert one end of the Ethernet cable that comes with the router into one of the Ethernet port. and D the other into your computer's Ethernet port. Please wait a few minutes for connection. The router is now connected to your computer. Now you need to set it up. But first, I will show you another method for connecting the router if you do not have an Ethernet cable or your computer does not have an Ethernet port. Connect the router to the power adapter and cable from your internet provider. This will enable Wi-Fi. If the router is new and has never been configured, the Wi-Fi network will have the name of your router. Your router has its own Wi-Fi network name and password printed on a sticker. Connect to it. Great, you've connected to the router. Now let's start setting it up. First, open your web browser and visit the URL you see on the screen. Use the URL bar instead of the search bar. At the beginning you will see a form with a login and password. Usually it is admin and admin. If these credentials are wrong, then find label on your router. The credentials are often printed on the bottom of the device. If none of this works, it means that your router has already been configured and someone has changed the login and password. If you can't find out the login credentials, just reset the router to factory settings. And then log into the router's personal cabinet using the standard credentials. If your router settings do not look like mine, it means that your router has a different firmware. I made a video for every firmware type. You can find all the links in the description down below. I want to warn you right away that there are many firmware versions and they may differ slightly. But don't worry, you will succeed, just watch the video and follow the instructions. First, run the quick setup to manually configure your internet connection and wireless settings. I should also warn you that depending on the firmware version, some setup steps might be missing or appear in a different order. Trust me, you've got this. Just watch the video and follow the instructions. Press the next button. On this page, select the working mode. You need to choose router. On the next page, select your internet connection type. 
Usually, this is listed in your internet service contract. If there's no auto detect feature, select dynamic IP and click the next button. Depending on the connection type you selected earlier, this page may look different from mine. If you chose dynamic IP, then select one of the available options on this page. If your internet provider only allows access for a specific MAC address, you'll need to clone the MAC address of your main computer. If you're not sure, select No, I do not need to clone MAC address. In most cases, there's no need to clone the MAC address. But if the internet doesn't work after the quick setup, try running it again and this time, clone the MAC address. On the next page, set a name and password for your future Wi-Fi network. From the wireless radio drop-down, select Enable. In the wireless network name field, enter the name of your Wi-Fi. Now set the password. If the wireless password field isn't active, click on it first, then type your password. It must be at least eight characters long. Once you've entered the network name and password, click the next button. If you were connected via Wi-Fi, reconnect to the new network now. Great, you've completed the quick setup. Click the finish button, and after a couple of minutes, check your internet connection. Just try Googling something. If there's still no internet, try rebooting your router. To restart it, go to the System Tools menu. Then select Reboot. Click the Reboot button. After rebooting, wait a few more minutes. Sometimes the settings just need time to apply. If the internet still doesn't work, double-check that all the cables are connected correctly. If after all these steps you still have no internet, go to the Network tab. Then select Mac Clone. Now click Clone MAC address. Save the settings. Reboot your router again. And after a couple of minutes, check your internet connection. If internet still doesn't appear, contact your internet service provider. He will tell you what type of connection you have and what other settings you need to do. That's all. If my video was useful, please support my work. I donate half of all donations to shelters. You can find more details in the description below.